So I guarantee you they've glued this lid on the top of the honey super already. Just put it on yesterday. But they've already glued it down. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh okay. my gosh. So you can see them on the inside cover. There's quite a few there. Wow. So they're beginning to explore the, uh, the honey super. So oh. all of these frames need to be drawn out. They need to make comb in the honey super before they can store honey in there. But it's what they do. They're so cute. Aren't they cute? They are. There's so many of them. <laughs> <laughs> and they're just, they're just busy. Now I'm going to take this honey super off so we can actually see the hive body itself where the bees actually live. This guy's investigating me right now. Like that. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Okay. Now this is the <laughs> queen excluder, right? Okay. So this is what keeps the queen. But you see the, the bees <laughs> don't mind. So they weird. go right through it. <laughs> yeah. But theoretically the queen won't go through here. Are you okay, Molly? Yeah, I'm okay. Is this, I mean you have to tell me if you're freaking <laughs> no, or anything. It's like it's very different. It's just really weird, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna take the queen excluder out just for a second. We'll take it off. And of course, glued it down already as well. And they hate it when you pop anything. So, like this queen excluder would love to like pop off. Mm -hmm. They hate that because that's kind of like a a jerking motion. They don't right. like that stuff. A little agitated, not bad. Oh, wow. Okay, so now we're down to where they live. This is where they raise the little bees. Wow. And you can see that they're doing stuff like putting honey or uh, comb up here on top of the frames, which they're not supposed to do. Hmm. And they've got the frames glued in really, really tight. So it's almost impossible to get one of these frames out. using the back side of the um, hive tool which has kind of a curved lip on it for exactly the purpose I'm using it for now which is to get under the ears and try it out and I'm, I'm intentionally taking a frame from the far side of the hive okay. it'll probably be much less occupied okay. And it's really glued in. One thing, they will build comb from time to time that extends beyond the reaches of the frame and extends into the next frame. So then when you try to pull it out like this, it doesn't work so well. It kind of rips it apart. There you go. There's one. Wow. Now look, that is just jam-packed full of honey. You that, see that is. That's all honey. Oh my gosh. So they have plenty to eat here. These are yeah. not starving bees. Wow. Okay. You can see a few deceased bodies yeah. in there as well, unfortunately. That's probably from me just lifting it up just now. On the back side. Wow. So on the back side, you can see, I don't know if you can see if there's a shininess in some of the cells. That's honey that this is called uncapped honey hmm. okay so there's okay. no top on it it's just fluid in this right. in the cells okay and this side is capped, is capped. okay you can't see it at all i want to take out the next frame because i can easily pry it out okay and i think it'll be a little bit more representative i hope of a um, of a breeding breeding frame where there may be brood brood is what they call um eggs Okay. It'd be great if we could show you a frame that had some pollen in it and some um, active brood. Now a really good beekeeper, which I'm not, would uh, keep, keep his eye open for the queen. Okay. The most terrible thing that you could do would be to pull a frame out with the queen on it 
mm. and then do something stupid <laughs> and drop the queen outside the hive. Ooh. This is a very heavy frame. Oh my gosh. How's that look? Wow. It's, it's quite heavy. Well, once again, you can see extraordinarily capped honey. You see how it's in kind of a semicircle shape? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's perfect. That's exactly what you want. Uh, what we're missing, though, is capped brood in the middle. So normally, mm -hmm. in, a, in a perfect uh, hive body frame, you would have capped baby bees down here. Mm -hmm. You'd have pollen mm -hmm. around here and then capped honey on the outside. Wow. So here we have the capped honey in the right shape. And then on the back side, we have another oh my frame of almost all honey. Wow. Amazing, huh? So there's probably a thousand bees there, don't you think? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Maybe another thousand on the back. All right, let's, this is the last one we'll try. See if oh, we have wow. any, any mm -hmm. I see something interesting, yeah. yeah. Okay, so see the dark brown spots right in the middle? Mm -hmm. Hang on, I'll point right out. These little guys. Yeah. Okay, so th that's capped brood. Okay. All right, capped brood. These are about ready to be bees. The things yes. that are protruding. Yes. Wow. Look, there's a lot of cap brood on the back. Oh, wow. There's also a lot of bees on there. <laughs> I'm afraid I have some queen cells. So queen cells are slightly different looking cells. They're longer. And um, that's where bees are making is going to make queen, make huh. a queen, and uh, it's good and bad. It, uh, if they swarm, it's kind of good. You have a, you have another colony of bees in the world mm -hmm. if they swarm. It sucks for a beekeeper because you lose half your bees. Oh, okay. Now, if you capture the swarm, it, it can be good. Right. But that particular colony just got, you have two smaller colonies now instead of one big colony. So you don't necessarily make as much honey right away. Right. All right, now Mark's trying to put the frames back in. This is the challenging part mm. because they don't fit very well. Right. Some beekeepers only put nine frames in instead of 10. They certainly fit better. And on a really warm day, they also fit better because the wax is softer and it's more compliant. They're not loving me right now. I'm really messing with them. They get louder and louder. Disturbed. Calm down. I would call that success, Molly. We got him back in. Not bad. Oh, they're really, they're really mad. But they'll settle down. Now the question is, how many bees do you squish when you put this stuff on? That's always a concern I have, so I always mm. try to ease it down. And let as many of them get out fast as they can. Yeah. yeah. Look at that, they're already settling down. That guy did. That guy mm. just went in right there. I think that guy did. Nope. Hmm. Oh. Ooh. Did you see that yeah. one? Yeah, okay. yeah, I saw that one. It's on his hind legs. Mm -hmm. 
sometimes they come back and they're so worn out that would, oh, did you see how much was on that one? Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's pretty dark colored. Mm -hmm. When it's orange or yellow, boy, that guy, that guy had it. Ooh. When it's really bright yellow and orange, it just really stands out. But today it's kind of dark. I don't know why they're getting it. But it's almost hard to see. Come on. Give us another couple of good hooks. There was a bee on my arm that had a lot. Oh, really? Did yeah. you see it? Yeah. Cool. That's cool. Yeah, that guy's investigating your uh, your wrist there. <laughs> He's figuring out there's nothing cool about that wrist. Yeah. Nothing there. <laughs> okay. That is not a flower. <laughs> oh, that guy, that guy. Oh, Ooh, did you see him? Yeah. Had some yellow. It was like bright yellow. Yes, yes. Yeah. That guy has... It's, it's really kind of a brown, and man, it just about yeah. matches them today. Wow. I think they did it. <laughs>